What's up guys, Ungo here from the tutorial for you guys. This will be on how to make a V-cam. Pretty useful for making camera movements like pan, rotate, things like that. So let's get started. First I'm open up one of my animations I did a while ago. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's not in this folder. It's another folder. Name Batman short. Yep, here it is. Now let's just open up Flash. Nice. Eh. Adobe. Flash. Alright, there it is. I like CS3 better than CS6 because it has. It crashes less than. Less than. There's not way as much unneeded things as in CS6. So yeah. Just a lot of FYI. Uh, I think it was this. So, you see, I have a little Batman thing right here. I tried being funny with it, but I, I don't have good humor. <laughs> I can show you guys it. And press play. Turn. Oh shit! It's pretty loud. I'm mad. I bite you. And I'm real good in bed. Well, yeah, there it is. I know. If you guys heard it, then. Cause I turned off my speakers, but I'm not sure if you guys can hear my system audio. But if you guys heard it, I know it sounds kind of corny. So let me just drag. Now, um, you, what you need to do then is, after you have your animation done and everything, you wanna go to the, well, you need to grab your VCam. I have the download link in the description, and drag it into your project. And here's your VCam symbol right here. What you wanna do is, you wanna right click copy to symbol and oh, oops create a layer for it name this vcam oh. should probably put it all, all the way on the top so you can see it and right click oh, right click paste in place and here's our vcam you can move this around Go over here to the pre transform tool, press Q and scale it. Hold, by holding down shift, you can scale the whole thing together. It's pretty cool. And, just look up my properties. You can add filters to it as well. So let's just delete that blur. Let's filter. Oh, oops, it's with every cam. Oh crap, what did I do? Alright, there it is. I deleted it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to filter. Add one. Uh, you can add anything you want, really. You can adjust color, but I think I'll just go to colors. You change it from solid to. I can't remember which, which place it was in. I think it was a just color. Yeah, it wasn't just color. Alright, so you wanna go to filters, add one, add a just color. You can change the brightness of this. And you'll see it. So if I press control enter. Come on. Batman, I bite you. See how you're and I'm real good in bed. Is position. Batman, I bite you. And I'm real good in bed. And now if I let me close it. There. Uh, you can also create movements with this, but yeah, like I, like I said, getting back to the filters, you can change the brightness, so I change the brightness all, all the way up, up there. Batman, brightness I bite you! Pretty bright. Change the contrast. Do it again. Batman, contrast I bite you! Pretty high. Draw all the way low. Batman, I bite you. Can't see anything. Saturation in the highest. Batman, one. I bite you. Huh, kind of looks like Batman's colors, like the old one. Bring this down. Batman, and then, like, I bite and you. Look, if you're trying to go for that, change the hue. Batman, I bite. Things like that. 
come comes really in handy. My first time using it. So yeah. So late I just watched the tutorial on it. And so now if you have some keyframes, just hold down F five, just some blank keyframes. Don't know why I don't see any of those old frames popping up. Should be popping up. Oh, and I'm real good in bed. Like symbol, I believe. Or no, mate. No, it wasn't. All right. So now if we insert a keyframe. Uh, F6 and F6 right there. Er, no, that's why I went too far off. So let's just delete all these frames. Whoa, that's a lot. Just keep going. And there. Yeah, deleted it. Alright, so what you want to do is add a keyframe, like blank, um, press F6 on spots you want for the camera to move in its blank keyframes. So I added one right here and one right here. And now on those, you can hold down Shift. Go up to the free transform tool or pressing Q or clicking in the toolbar. Just bring this down. And hold shift. Make it bigger. Move it. And we'll do that. And now if you go over here to that. Click on the symbol. Hold down shift. Scale this baby in. Do that. Basically what you're going to do is, I mean, basically what you're doing is you're going on these keyframes and you're basically doing the action of what you want the camera to do by using the free transform tool or the selection tool, whatever you want to do with it. So now if I play this, I'm Batman, I bite you, moves. and I'm real good in bed. That looks weird. Which I'll enter. I'm Batman, I bite you, and I'm real good in bed. I'm Batman, and I it smoother as well. Oh, whoops. Make it smoother as well by inserting classic tweens or motion tweens, depending on your version of Flash. Motion tween. And yeah. I'm mad. I bite you. And, you and I'm real good in bed. And that looks better. So I'm bad not bad. I bite you. And I'm real good in bed. I'm bad. And also, what you can do is you can. Where is it? Properties. There. Tween, you can edit the uh, ease by clicking on the tween of the camera. And going to properties. For next to ease, go to edit. Drag this down. Basically, you're just easing and stuff with this. You don't really know how you do this, is how you ease out. Yeah, like that. So I believe it's like starting in slow, and then it's gonna go out fast. I believe. Not really good at easing. So let's just do this, and there. Okay. And now. I'm bad man, I bite you. you know, kind of and I'm good in bed. I'm bad man, I bite you. Kind of and I'm no good. In So yeah, it's basically a first tutorial guys. Hope you found it informative. Okay, we say I will have the VCAM download link in the description. It's really handy. And yeah. Well, let's put the control enter on this. Let's go show you what you could do with VCAM. Sort of blur and things as well with it. But yeah. So much it guys for this tutorial. Um so yeah. Peace.